Good morning, welcome to another weekend vlog. It's Isabel. Hi. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I don't know my intro, but um, yeah. Hello. I'm just gonna get ready really quickly because I have a doctor's appointment later. Oh, and also, I forgot to say that this video is in collaboration with Alyssa J from Books with Alyssa J. Hello everyone, my name is Alyssa and I'm from the channel Books with Alyssa J. And we're reading each other's favorite books. I'm reading Serafina by Rachel Hartman. And I am so excited to be doing this collab with Isabel. On my channel, I read mainly YA fantasy as well as sci-fi and a little bit of contemporary thrown in there as well. I make videos where I deface the cover of books to throw in a little bit of my artistic side while I review them. And I also love having real talks about the booktube community. And so I created the booktube real talk tag as well as just having honest discussions. I really hope you guys decide to check out my account. And without further ado, I'll let you go back to Isabel's video. So she's going to read one of the books I recommended to her. And I'm going to read one of the books that she recommended to me. And I recommended to her. Serafina and she recommended to me where is it right here Wonder Woman by Lee Bardugo yeah oh I'm not very far into it I'm only a couple pages in Alyssa really likes this book and I'm really excited to read it and find out why she likes it so I'm gonna get the opportunity to do that today on my way to the doctor's appointment and then afterwards maybe I'll read you the back because I don't really know the story because when I go into a book I prefer to know as little as possible but I mean it's impossible to know very little what am I saying but it's impossible to know nothing is what I mean so I'll just say a couple sentences about this Princess Diana longs to prove herself to her legendary warrior sisters but when the opportunity finally comes she throws away her chance at glory and breaks Amazon law risking exile to save a mortal. Diana will soon learn that she has rescued no ordinary girl and that with this single brave act, she may have doomed the world. So I watched the movie and that story is similar to the movie except they changed the gender of the person that she sh shaves. <laughs> they changed the gender of the person that she saves. So it's a girl now, uh, which is interesting. I know it's gonna be good because Alyssa likes it. So yeah, follow me on my journey, but first makeup. Hey friends, so I'm walking to the bus right now and can I just say I love this red lip Okay, there were people coming so I had to put my phone down and act cool because I'm not very confident vlogging in public yet so it's Saturday now the next day I read a little bit of Wonder Woman yesterday I spent some time in the mall just chilling on the couches reading it and I'm just gonna read it some more right now I also need to read a little bit of Pat of Silver Bush because I haven't read any of it I think I've only read one chapter out of the four that we were supposed to read so I gotta do that but first thumbnail do you like my makeup by the way it's all green very very green it looks a little bit like a mask like i feel like these are kind of like masks and all i need to do is like draw a line in between them and around um and i kind of feel like it's an honor of endgame which we are going to watch later i'm excited to watch it but it's like four hours of sitting down Ugh. but you know i'm excited to sit in the comfy chairs and get my popcorn and nesty so i guess it's kind of weird that i'm more excited for the experience than the actual movie but that's just how i am so let's read a little bit of Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. 
All right, okay, so let's talk about the books that I'm reading right now. The first one is, of course, Wonder Woman. I don't really have much thoughts on this at the moment. I'm not super into it, if I'm going to be honest. Like, it's not bad. I'm not feeling annoyed about it or anything. I'm just not finding much to be invested in. But I'm still really early in. But this is one of Alyssa's favorite books, so... I anticipate that it's going to get much better later. Next I have Pad of Silver Bush by Ella Montgomery. This is another buddy read. I read the next four chapters, which is our goal for this weekend, and yeah, it's it's interesting, it's charming. There's stuff happening, but nothing that I'm like, you know, overly excited about again. This is about Pat's growth as a young woman, and she's still very young here. I think she's seven years old. And there's a lot of hints that we're going to be following her all the way up until she reaches womanhood. So I'm excited to see her grow. Particularly because I really enjoyed the parts of the Anne of Green Gable series when Anne is at college and things like that. And I'm pretty sure she's probably going to be doing something like that later. So I'm looking forward to that. But right now, um, it's all very kind of twee. You know, all about little old Pat who is like this dreamer and she doesn't want anything to change. And that really reminds me of Joe March. I don't know if I said that last time. I'm getting a lot of Joe March in the movie vibes. I don't remember what the book was like. I read it for sure. I'm talking about Little Women, but um, I definitely like the movie more. I'll be going through this really slowly because we're doing it four chapters per week so we don't get too pressured. Next, I have America is Not the Heart by Elaine Castillo. I finally finished this one. I rated it four and a half stars. It was very, very good, and I'm looking forward to talking about this more in an upcoming video. It was really good. It's just like a really slow meandering slice of life kind of story except when you say slice of life I tend to think of kind of chill, relaxed, happy lives and this isn't necessarily that. I mean this is real life. Traumatic things happen, people do stupid things, family members do stupid things but they're still family so you still like just live with it and there were a few twists in here which I did not expect at all it came out of nowhere and I was shook and I wished I had been vlogging just so you could see my reaction I was like oh, okay that was bad but <laughs> in my notes I wrote I don't know how you can write this it's not something you think up or plan it's something you live and it has to simmer for a while even if you haven't lived it yourself, it comes out through other people's experiences, which is so true. Yeah, I don't know how she planned this book. This is just so amazing. I always talk to people, especially my boyfriend, about what I'm reading. And I find when it came to this book, I found it really hard to tell them what was going on because it all feels so everyday and kind of mundane and yet the big things are in the little things when it comes to this book and <laughs> I find that when I try to summarize it it becomes disjointed and it doesn't encapsulate you know the depth oh. and I find that it can't encapsulate what is going on okay I'm just gonna go get the door <laughs> I'm back um Oh, this also comes with an interview of the author and I found it really interesting to hear her describe what the book is since she's the one that wrote it. And she said it was about the textured daily minutia as an exile in America and I just find that perfect. Textured daily minutia is a perfect way to describe it. It's so good and it's about how things can be formative without being definitive, all the little things that go towards shaping you as a person, shaping your interactions with your family members, your relationship with your family, with your culture, with yourself. And she also said that this book, as hinted at by the title, it challenges the stereotype or simplification of the American dream. So yeah, I'll talk about it more in my wrap up. If you're interested in immigrant stories, Filipino stories, well-written books, books about those things that I mentioned, texture daily minutia, slow burn kind of stories, there's not a lot of plot going on. There's plot but it's mostly really slow going and meandering like I said before. And there's also bi rep in this. I should also give a trigger warning for violence. It was just really really good. Okay, I think that's it for my review.
Hello. We watched. <laughs> we watched. What did we watch? Endgame. We watched Endgame and it was so good. I'm obsessed. I love it so much. But I'm really sleepy now, so that is all. Thank you. Hey, so it's Sunday night. It's been a good weekend. What did I do? I watched Endgame yesterday and it was so, so good. I'm not an Avengers super fan. Like, like I'm not an obsessed fan. I'm more of a casual watcher, but the way I felt when I was watching Endgame, that was intense. It, oh, it just made me so happy. If you haven't seen it yet, go watch it. And then Tonight we watched the third episode of Game of Thrones, which was in itself a wild ride. And that was pretty fun too. I'm not as enthusiastic about it as I was with Endgame, though I still liked it for the most part, but there are a little bit of mixed feelings there, but you know, can't talk about spoilers here, so I'll leave it at that. Let's talk about Wonder Woman. I am not super into this right now, and it's making me a little nervous because this is one of Alyssa's favorite books, and I'm scared that I won't like it. Um, I'm scared. Oh, but um, we have pretty similar tastes when it comes to fantasy books. I know she likes the books by Shannon Hale, which I love. Um, are there other books that she likes that I like too? I can't remember. I just know she likes a lot of fantasy, as do I. So that's why I had faith, and that's why I still have faith. But there is that little fear in the back of my head uh, scared that I won't like it. For me right now, it's missing that little spark that makes me want to read on faster. I am about halfway, a little bit less than halfway. It's interesting seeing how I feel about it right now because she told me that she also wasn't really feeling the book that I recommended for her, Serafina. She says she almost DNF'd it at the beginning, but she liked it in the end. So we're kind of on similar paths here. I take it back. It's getting really good. Alright, I think I'm gonna stop there. I'm actually liking it a lot more this time. It's exhilarating and I'm loving all of the revelations about the characters and I'm loving the way that the two main characters are relating to each other and there's a fair amount of really beautiful lines in here that I'm really appreciating. Um, I tabbed them. Let's see. Just like little lines here and there that I really liked. Here's one. You dance differently when you know you won't live forever. Was this what Maeve had meant? There was something reckless and mortal joy that Diana liked. It held nothing back. And then this other line goes. Nim says to Diana, Oh man, do you have one of those tough love families? I just don't buy into that. Why not? Diana asked cautiously. Because the whole world loves to tell us what we can't do. That we aren't good enough. The people in your own house should be on your side. It's the people who never learned the word impossible who make history, because they're the ones who keep trying. I also like the introduction of someone who's interested in fashion in this book, especially because, you know, it's a book about girl power and fashion and beauty and all that stuff are usually connected to girls and they're kind of downplayed as something that's not worth while something that's kind of frivolous when we know that's not true, but it can change the way you see yourself and everyone knows that it's an important part of who you are. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end it there. 
I'm glad I'm ending it on a more positive note. I really like it right now and I'm gonna try and finish it tomorrow. I'm pretty sure it's gonna go well. I'm so happy. Um, so yeah, I'll see you later. <laughs> Hey, it's Monday and I'm almost done with Wonder Woman. Okay, so I did do a little bit of reading today. I had work, so I read a little bit beforehand and also during my break. And now I'm gonna go read some more and finish it, hopefully. But thoughts, before that, thoughts. I am liking the middle a lot more than the beginning, um, but my concerns from the beginning still kind of stand. I am a little bit more invested in the characters, but they're just lacking a little bit of something. And I'm also not super into the magic system and the justification for all the magics that are going on. I know that's kind of how it is in superhero comic books, but yeah, that's just my concern. Cause whenever a bit of the magic is explained, I'm just like, really, really? But I am liking it a lot more than the first and I am invested in this group of misfits we have going on right now. One of the characters says that they're actually the villains instead of the good guys in the story and I really like that, especially when he said a toast to the villains. I was, yeah, it's hard to explain if you haven't read the book, but it reminded me of the Gilded Wolves, you know, so it made me excited. I said I liked how Aaliyah's biracial and she's half white, half black, and I like how she points out the differences and how they're treated because of those two sides of her and I can't really attest to that because I haven't experienced that but I've heard similar things from other people who do have that experience I'm just really glad that there's an effort being made, you know? Yeah, I like the characters a lot This book's writing is also stepping it up quite a bit Does that make sense? Like it's getting better I feel like its strength is when it starts to describe the human world and its beauty but also its bizarreness and I really like that because we're following Diana, Wonder Woman, and of course she's not used to the human world. So to have her explain it in that way to us from an outsider's point of view, but still able to distinguish kind of the beauty and also the weirdness of it, I really liked it and I appreciated it. And also the fact that it was extra poetic in those moments, it made me see things in a whole new light. So I really like that. So I am gonna read some more. I like the scene. I don't want to spoil anything, but some keywords for you. Campfire. A bunch of teenagers. Truth or dare. But using her lasso? Lasso? Rope? Yeah, I think her lasso. I like it. <laughs> <gasps> oh. Wow, it's getting real. I'm getting more and more invested in these characters. <gasps> oh, that's so sad. Let me read that again. <laughs> I'm reading it a third time. <laughs> oh my god. That scene was, it was good and sad at the same time. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> this book is really growing on me and there's only like 80 pages left and I'm kind of sad. <laughs> oh! I like it. <gasps> what the frick? I knew it. I'm not sure I understand the argument that's being made here, but whatever, we'll read on. <gasps> no. So 
god. Shit. <gasps> I finished it and the ending was really good. <laughs> I'm a little shook. I'm like happy and sad at the same time. This always happens whenever there's some sort of story about humanity versus someone that's not human. They end up being friends with a human and appreciating them even though their lives are short and it just makes me think of my own mortality. <laughs> so it's bittersweet in that way. I think I'm going to rate this book either 3.5 or four stars. The character of Diana really grew on me. At first I found her kind of hard to connect to, but I ended up really loving her at the end and I'm really attached to all their friendships and I'm feeling teary-eyed at the thought of the ending. <laughs> so yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you Alyssa for recommending this book to me. It was a journey. I didn't like it at first. It was kind of hard to get into. I still had some reservations, but there were still parts that I deeply, deeply enjoyed and I feel teary-eyed at the ending, so it was good stuff. So yeah, I think that's it for me today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out Alyssa's channel and her video. I'll um, link it up here or here. I can never remember. I think it's here. Um, and I'll also put it in the description box. Check out her video where she reads Serafina. I'm excited to watch it too, so yeah. See you later. Bye.